check this view out. Bro, oh, follow, follow, musky, musky. <laughs> Hopefully they get bigger. Oh, dude. Oh my god. Oh, it looks like it's about to sink. So we're in a uh, brand spanking new area for us on the French River. We've never been here before. And we are currently looking through the map, seeing if we can find uh, find a campsite to stay at. Because as it stands, we really don't have any clue where we're going. But that's how all good adventures start off. Right? Oh yeah. Oh, so this is Josh. Joel, uh, Joel wasn't as interested in a fishing trip. I don't know why, um, but yeah, she's, she's going to set this one out apparently. <laughs> Our main goal right now is just not to uh, hit the prop on a rock. So Josh at the front, just spotting. We're going as slow as possible here, but we're almost at the site. Home sweet home. Go check it out. Oh, perfect. So the first site we checked out was pretty much all on a slope on a big hill. It wasn't any good, but I think this one might be better. Oh, here. Yeah, this is good right here. Yep, this will do just fine. So actually long ago before we uh, were a camping channel, I started out on YouTube making fishing videos. It kind of ties back to our trip right now. We're gonna be out here for four days, three nights, I think. And this whole trip is kind of based around musky fishing, which for those of you who don't know, they call it the fish of 10,000 casts. It's a very challenging, but very rewarding fish when you actually do catch one. It's, uh, it's just very difficult to catch one, hence the name fish of 10,000 casts. But we might be in one of the best places in the entire world to do it here on the French River between Lake Nipissing and Georgian Bay. Since we're setting up on solid rock, pegs won't work for us. So we're gonna just get a bunch of these big rocks and secure the tent that way. And then you see the clip. It's easier than army. Obviously that's yeah. gonna move. There you go. The first time I go camping without Joel in a long time, I don't bring my pillows, so. Well, we just spoke got camp fully established. And uh, I'll give you guys a quick rundown here. Josh is on the cot. Got the uh, got the air mattress going with uh, the sweet view looking over the river or the bay that we're on. It's really just a perfect spot for the tent. This is kind of the fire pit slash cooking area. This will just be doing our hanging out here and having our campfires and uh, in our meals. Pretty, pretty basic, not a big site. I think it's really well laid out. And I mean, you really can't beat the view, can you? of the trip. Lots of these guys here on the French. Lots of them. First spot. <laughs> this is the lure I'm going to be using. If you didn't know, musky are very big fish. Hence, they eat very big bait. This is just a, a walleye or like a, a sucker fish imitation. Let's see if we can get her done. Gotta have them throwing something this big in a long time. Arms are going to hurt. Yep, body's going to be sore. First cast. 10,000. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, How big? Like a decent pocket pike. 
pike. Yeah, there was three fish there, dude. Were they all pike? Dude. Go. First fish of the trip, buddy. That's not a muskie. Oh, got him. Watch. Because this thing's crazy. It's out jump. Oh. Yeah, that was crazy, bud. I thought it would jump. All right, first fish. We're on the board. Coming towards us. <laughs> hasn't jumped yet. I don't really want that fish. Pike? Nice. So if you guys are wondering what we're doing here with the rods beside the boat, muskie are known to follow baits and they'll actually follow right to the boat. That's called doing a figure eight. And you'd be surprised how many muskie are caught boat side doing something like that. It's a, it's a, it's a high number. It's also really cool to see a muskie come right beside your boat and uh, follow your lure around in a, in a circle. It's uh, it's one of the crazier things probably in, in fishing. So tonight is, uh, I thought there was a full moon, right buddy? What do they call it? It's a mega moon. Mega moon? No, blue moon. Blue moon, it doesn't look very blue to me. Yeah, but that, it's just uh... <laughs> I'm kidding. Stuff's so spongy. Oh. oh, yeah. It's all in the middle, at least. A few minutes here, we can start dinner. And some gourmet burgers I bought from the grocery store. I'm gonna have those with some roasted veg and some uh, oh, some cheddar cheese. It's gonna be delicious. Feel it over here. Oh yeah. These look pretty good, buddy. Good choice. What kind of mustard is it? Barbecue smoked apple. Oh. Oh my god. Holy crap. I'd buy that. That'd be 20 bucks out of a restaurant for that. That is insanely good. One of the best burgers I've ever had. Good morning. We uh, we slept in a bit. First time went off at six or five thirty, and the plan was just get up, have some coffee, and hit the lake. But we ended up falling back asleep for another two and a half hours. We got coffee done now, and uh, it's time to go musky fishing. <laughs> We thought we had a muskie. Oh, that was exciting. I'll get the blood flowing in the morning, eh, bud? It hit so hard. All right, well, not a little bad little fish start the morning. Hopefully they get bigger. See ya, bud. Oh, that's better than a thousand coffees, man. I thought, 
I thought we did it. Bro, oh, follow, follow, musky, musky. Not a big one, but did you see him? He followed it deep. Well, it's been a been a very trying morning. We just had our first positive sighting of a muskie. It came up to the boat. Unfortunately, didn't didn't circle around on the figure eight, but um, it's just really nice to see what we're after, um, even though we didn't catch it. Just before that, we, uh, we, we spotted this different campsite that we think it's in quite a bit of a nicer spot. We might have better night fishing there too. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go take a look at it right now. Yeah, I like the looks of that for sure. Well, it certainly was a lot of work, but I think it's safe to say that the move was well worth it. Check this view out. That is quite enjoyable. Yeah, just a little rough on the nuts. <laughs> oh. 10 out of 10. Can I go here? I can't really tell. Let's just start here. Yeah. Eh, back at it, baby. These look really good. Holy man. Yeah. <laughs> Where we don't catch any fish, man. <laughs> Oof. Did you see that? That was his leg. Yeah. What was he doing? Waving. <laughs> That's so funny. Almost caught that on film. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, you caught a fish today. Yeah. Sunset bite. It was beautiful. What's for dinner, Josh? We're doing uh, hot dogs. We got these beauty ballpark hot dogs. I don't know about it, but we're gonna find out one way or another. Well, it's all moisture. We can cook quite a bit. We can eat some on this one. Definitely. I don't know why, but these are the ones that Josh chose. I, I don't I don't know why. They're the best deal. This is gonna be horrendous. Dude, look at these freaking things, man. They look disgusting. <laughs> Our buns aren't gonna be able to accommodate such mass, man. Like oh, that's what she said. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, that was a good one.
beauty. Yeah, it fits perfect when you cut them in half, man. Well, I'm not ashamed to say that I cut my dog in two. You don't need a foot long dog. You hear that? You mm. don't need a foot long dog. Good morning. Today was supposed to be our early fishing day, but Josh screwed up his alarm last night. It's a, it's a little bit more overcast today, so I don't know. Maybe that'll be better fishing. We have one more day to get her done, so. Oh, it's a huge sucker, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, it's a drum. drum. What? I've never even seen one of those before in person. I've never seen one. <laughs> you just walk backwards. <laughs> Dude, that thing is huge. What? That's not a walleye. Good start to the morning, buddy. Oh, yeah. That's a wild catch. <laughs> what? what do you think of that guy? Kind of ugly. Kind of cool looking, eh? Yeah. So this is, you know what they call these, eh? These are freshwater, uh, freshwater drum. So they're very closely related to the big drum, like the black drum that you catch in, like out, out in the out in Florida and stuff. Yeah, I've never seen one before. This is pretty cool. How many casts do you think we've taken, man? We've probably taken a thousand total. Yeah. yeah. So. Do that ten more times, and maybe we'll <laughs> maybe we'll catch one. That's a sad reality. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh my God. That was so big. Oh my God. Oh. That was a huge fish, man. We'll have to come back if we don't catch this fish now. Oh, why didn't he just bite it? That should be the goal. Like we saw, we saw a big fish. Like that's sweet, but like, it's kind of devastating that we didn't catch it. You don't know how many, how many of those are gonna see in a in a trip, let alone a day. Feels like we got so close, but <laughs> so far away. It's nice to see, but it's tough at the same time. But moving on. Pretty slow morning after the uh, the one close call. We made it back to camp for some refuel. We got some. <laughs> craft dinner minus butter and milk and some uh, smoked meat sandwiches so we're just gonna refuel here get out of the sun for a little bit and uh yeah get back out there josh just head out for a uh for a quick fish this afternoon i don't feel bad but i really i just don't feel like it i uh i'm just absolutely drained from i think from the sun like i mean we've been sleeping lots and but yeah, just absolutely pooped. And I think if I go out fishing in the sun right now, that'll probably be it for the day. So I want to save myself for the, for the evening fish. I think the spots that you showed me that where we're headed after this, I think those actually look better. Yeah. It's hard to say, but.
we have officially accepted defeat on the musky fronts. Not for lack of effort though. Man, if we didn't take 10,000 casts, we were damn close. Oh, well, cheers to musky, man. They got us again. But we got close this time. Oh, God, one second. Well, you don't have to cheers me. <laughs> oh, I can't believe we didn't catch that fish. I don't understand. Tonight we're doing loaded sweet potatoes. You need a bigger cast iron next time. <laughs> oh, my corn is popping. The potato. Chili. Veggies. And corn. <laughs> Dude, my potato weighs like eight pounds. There you have it. I don't know what you want to call this contraption, but there it is. Na na napalm strike? Napalm strike from earlier today. Yeah. Like that bird shit? Was like a, remember napalm strike? No, that's not it. Yeah, it is. Good morning. Looking like another beautiful day. I miss waking up to this view. We may not have caught that big muskie we're after, but honestly, I think the fishing is just an excuse to get out here camping with a good buddy. We had beautiful campsites, incredible weather, and at the end of the day, we still caught some fish. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll catch you in the next one.